The moment I saw the trailer for Dispatch, I knew I wanted to try this game. But since it's got no native macOS version, I also knew I'd have to use workarounds. Luckily, there are a few valid options that work pretty well for this game. And in this video, I'll tell you all about them. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. One of the ways to play it is a cloud gaming service, and the other two let you download it and run it locally so there's something for everyone. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to buy the game. If you want to get it at a significantly reduced price, check the description where you'll find links to the best discount deals for Dispatch available at the moment. Now let's get to the ways to play it. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. And if you've got a faster connection, you can crank up everything to max even in 4K, and you should be more than fine. To be fair, in the case of Dispatch, specs don't matter a ton, since the game is very light due to its point and click gameplay and comic book style graphics. So, for me personally, the real advantage of using Boosteroid here is the simplicity. It takes like 5 minutes to start the game with no need to install anything on your system. And since this is a strictly single player, narrative focused title, even when I tested this method with subpar internet, lag wasn't an issue. Also, let's not forget that Boosteroid lets you play a ton of other titles, many of which do require decent hardware if you want good performance. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. It's all pretty easy, but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it, and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. Crossover is the go-to method in 2025 if you want to use your Mac's hardware. It will give you the ability to play anywhere you want without internet limitations, and scales better with newer Macs. With most titles, you're not going to get anywhere near the graphical fidelity or performance you'll have with cloud solutions. But as mentioned, Dispatch is pretty undemanding, so Crossover works great here even on weaker Macs like my M1 MacBook Air. In my tests, everything ran flawlessly with no need to debug anything and no visual or performance hiccups. Just make sure to enable M-Sync in the Crossover settings, or you may get a black screen after a couple of minutes into the game. I tried the game both with mouse and keyboard and with a controller, and both options worked without issue. Also, with this method, you can use mods for single-player games, and there's a 14-day free trial. To use Crossover, click the link in the description, enter your email, and download the app. Then, after you install Crossover, you must click the Try Now option for the 14-day trial. If you need a longer tutorial, visit our video on that. Just note that the experience with Crossover can sometimes vary between updates, so don't be surprised if it suddenly starts to break the game. If this happens, check our site for the detailed instructions, or you'll have to research this on your own. Kegworks is currently the most popular replacement for Whiskey since the latter got discontinued by its developer. Think of it as a DIY version of Crossover. It's free, but it's not as reliable or user-friendly. I personally prefer Crossover, but if you are on a tight budget, you can give Kegworks a go. For this game in particular, Kegworks gets the job done and lets you play it on a Mac, but you should still be prepared for occasional bugs while working with the tool. Performance-wise, it's also similar to Crossover, but with more jank and potential for things breaking down. As for the setup, you first need to install Homebrew, then Kegworks itself, then Steam, and then the actual game. The process takes a bit more time compared to the other methods here, and so is beyond the scope of this video. For detailed guidance on how to set up Kegworks, just click the respective video in the description and it will show you exactly what to do. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. Remember, for more detailed explanations of the methods to play this game on Mac, you can always check the video tutorials linked in the description. And if you are interested in exploring more popular gaming titles you can play on your Apple machine, you should check the videos that will now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, in case you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.